Okay. Okay. So let's start my talk. So I, today I would like to talk about uh, my sticker service. And uh, the talk title is uh, Hexagonal Sticker as a Service. This is a little bit weird. <laughs> and uh, my service name is uh, Hexi. Uh, before this talk, uh, let me introduce myself. And uh, yeah, my name is Yosuke Furukawa, and the Twitter handle is uh, Yosuke underscore Furukawa. And GitHub is Yosuke dash Furukawa. And uh, actually, I'm a uh, Japan Node.js user group second reader. And uh, I am an organizer of Node School Tokyo and Node Fest. And I'm working for the DNA. And the DNA is a mobile game company. And uh, they have lots of products. And uh, I am a front end engineer using the React and Bubble uh, at that company. And the DNA mostly uses a PAR. Do you know PAR? The P E R L PAR. Yeah? <laughs> yes, PAR. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is an ancient language, I think. And <laughs> I would like to replace part to Node.js in my heart, but I don't have any the lights. <laughs> so yeah, well, when I drink the cocktail yesterday uh, near the cocktail machine, and I saw this blog, and I am very, very happy to see Node.js v4.0. Yeah, so congratulations. I would like to say thank you to Mike here and Trevor and uh, Fishrock and James and all of Node and IOJS collaborators. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I am writing a Node.js version 4 book for Japanese developers. And this book will be released in 2016. And uh, if this book gets more popular, I may translate this in uh, English or some things, <laughs> I think, yeah. OK, so let's back to my talk. Uh, I speak of uh, Nodal School. So Nodal School has various hexagonal stickers like this. Yeah. And uh, of course, so Nodal School Tokyo also has a uh, hexagonal sticker. Left dog, yeah, do you, have you seen the next, do you see the next dog? Can you see? Yeah. Left dog is Hachi. Now, he is a very famous dog statue in Tokyo. And the right side of the tower is 109 Tower, and this tower is also famous in Shibuya. And I like this sticker. Uh, it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And this is me, and uh, this is the first time for organizing Nodo School Tokyo. And I am introducing the Nodo School for students. Uh, please see my laptop, and uh, I have only seven Stick, seven hexagonal stickers at that time, but uh, the date is April 23rd. Yeah, but now I have so many stickers like this <laughs> because I created a hexi. <laughs> and the hexagonal sticker is loved by JavaScript engineers. So, for example, so Max Og this is a Max Ogden, Max Ogden's laptop. And Max has uh, Max is a hexagonal sticker enthusiast. <laughs> And he introduced Hex sticker to me in last year. Yeah. And uh, some developers show their front of, li front of laptop in uh, Twitter. So they have lots of hexagonal stickers. So yeah, we love Hex stickers, right? <laughs> and as the one of JavaScript engineer, uh, Terry Stock, uh, creates hex sticker standard. <laughs> the side is defined by the standard. The height is 5.08 centimeter, and the width is 4.39 centimeter. So I'll show you some examples. So yeah, I think do you have the, this Node School sticker and the near phone sticker? Yeah, this sticker is okay. <laughs> this sticker is uh, standard, but uh, I think you have that. IBM Brumix sticker. This is, <laughs> this is a little bigger, bigger than a standard one. So yeah, you have yeah. I use, IBM members should use a hexi. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So we have a standard spec for stickers. <laughs> So my motivation is uh, I would like to distribute hexagonal stickers to the Nodal School students and the JavaScript engineer. And when the students throw the workshop, and uh, we provide one sticker as a certificate of Node. And uh, anyone can create hexagonal stickers easily. OK. So let me show you the demo. So I will create a hexagonal stickers on my site. Oops.
Yeah, I think Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay, here is a hexagonal sticker sign. So I'll <laughs> wait a second. Yes, okay. Here is a hexagon sticker site. The name is Hexi, and uh, you can see the some. Uh, you can see many stickers like this: uh, cute cat and uh, uh, dog-like, <laughs> dog-like whales, and something monsters. <laughs> yeah, and this is an React one. Yeah, and uh, if you would like to see more on the stickers, please tap this one more. And you can see there are lots of stickers like this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you would like to know more uh, information, please tap how to enjoy Hexi. So you can see the English de descriptions in, uh, in this page. So let's create the one sticker. So in the create page, you can uh, select the image file from your laptop or your PC, and uh, which one is better? This is an auto for you, and this is a cute cat. <laughs> cute cat is better here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my Wi-Fi is <laughs> quite a slow. That's uh, yeah. If upload is finished. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, got it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we upload the cute cat, and uh, we can uh, re we can change the position in the cat like this, and you can we can drag the uh, images, and uh, we can change the size of this. This, yeah, bigger than better. <laughs> bigger is better. Yeah, and uh, you can change the frame color in uh, like this and like this. Yeah, this is a node conference, so node color is better, I think. The back, you can change the background color also. And if you fix the design, so you can preview this uh, cat like this. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Thank you. And then you can create. <laughs> Sorry, one, one more plotting again. <laughs> I cannot say some jokes in, <laughs> in, the, in this uh, situation. Yep. Okay, uh, design published. Oops. Uh, yes. And uh, you can see the, this design in the top of these images. Uh, it's like this, yeah. Okay, let's back to my talk. <laughs> and you can uh, upload your images from the mobile phone, yeah. And if you if your Wi-Fi as well, uh, you can try, yeah. Okay, let's back to my talk. So, yeah. And there are, there, there are the user boys, and uh, some people create the stickers as they want, and uh, they have a positive feedback on Hexi. Yeah, like this. Okay, let's dive in. Uh, I would like to introduce the inside of Hexi. Uh, this is the Hexi inside. Here is the Hexi inside. Yeah, we are using some aggressive technologies like HTTP2 and IOJS and AWS Lambda. And we are using AWS RDS and AWS S3 also. First, I would like to talk about HTTP2. Yeah, HTTP2. HTTP2 has uh, some features uh, like uh, uh, HTTP2 can create uh, multiple requests per one connection, and HTTP2 has a uh, binary header using the HPAC. And they have a uh, server, server push and prioritized asset request. But the last one is not implemented yet in an Nginx patch. Yeah, but one uh, multiple request per one connection and binary header is also implemented in an Nginx patch. So I guess you have an interest in uh, HTTP performance. Is that? <laughs> 
So this is a timeline to hex request on HTTP 1.1. And it's the total response time is 14.486 seconds as a HTTP 1.1. And uh, this is a HTTP 2 timeline. The total time, like, time is improved from the 14.486 seconds to the 13.593 seconds. Yeah, so that is uh, improved for, uh, using the HTTP 2. HTTP 1.1 handles only six requests concurrently, but HTTP 2 handles multiple requests per con one connection, as I said. Yeah. So we don't need to concat the JavaScript files and CSS files, and we don't need to uh, CSS sprite. So yeah, and uh, we don't need to uh, use uh, all.js or all.css something, yes. And we don't need to use the uh, domain sharings. Okay, so all you need is a uh, light, you actual needed uh, JS and CSS and the images in your HTML. So that is HTTP2 pros. Okay, and I would like to talk about so, every other inside components deeply, and, uh, but I don't have so much time, uh, so I will talk only two components quickly, yeah. And uh, yeah, this is an IOJS. Uh, IOJS has so many features like uh, improvement, debuggability, and the simplified stream construction, and yeah, but yeah, Hexi uses uh, these features uh, in their code. And Hex uses the ES6 in a, like a class and a template string literals and a block, block scope. Yeah, it's so good for uh, much Hexy. And uh, better performance than uh, Node.js V0.12 and almost 5% 5, 5 faster. Yeah, this is a benchmark graph uh, that compared to uh, Node.js and IOJS and using the simple uh, HTTP server. IOJS is 5% 5, 5 faster than uh, Node.js v0.12, and I guess so. Node v4.0 will be more faster than that. I, I think. <laughs> okay, and uh, AWS Lambda can hook Amazon resource actions, so like S3 put and delete, and DynamoDB insert and update, and AWS Lambda can invoke their Node.js functions. For example, so resize images from the image magics and it puts resize the images to the S3. So I would like to show you an uh, example. So yeah, this is an example. Then the, and the browser puts the Im initial image to the S3 and the S3 invokes the Lambda functions and the AWS Lambda resize the initial images and the AWS Lambda also resize, uh, puts the, resize the images to the S3. So you can create workers easily in uh, AWS Lambda. And uh, I created the yeah, OCR library in a pure, pure JavaScript. This name is uh, Okrabyte. Uh, we will use Okrabyte in our AWS functions. And Okrabyte can be uh, recognized characters in the images. Uh, we can create such index about the extracted characters like that. So if you uh, in Oprabyte gets uh, these images, so you can see the uh, Tokyo Node Festival 2015, the characters, the so extract characters, the Tokyo to Node Festival 2015. So we can use these characters uh, as a search, in search index. So let's demonstrate about the Oprabyte. I think, yeah. Yeah, I have uh, lots of uh, test images like that. Yeah, here is an, oh, oh. <laughs> wait a second. You can see this. Okay, here is an acrobite. And... Oh, <laughs> 
this is a travel.png. Uh, this is an uh, example of the hexagonal sticker site, and uh, they have a uh, Travel Japan Wi-Fi characters. And uh, I use an uh, Oclabite in this. So then I can extract the Travel Japan Wi-Fi from that images from that image. So let me show you some more examples. I have. I have two different images. Yeah. How about this? <laughs> this is a so much big images. Yeah. I will try. <laughs> Yeah, oops. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes misunderstand the images, but the congrats is uh, recognized. And uh, <laughs> you know, the V4.0 stable is uh, recognized. Yeah, that is enough for uh, uh, to create the uh, search indexes. Yeah. OK. That's the finish. OK. OK, let's conclude my talk. So. Uh, Hexi is a uh, hexagonal sticker as a service, and uh, we can provide stickers worldwide. So, and uh, stickers can be created by mobile phone also. Yeah, and Hexi has uh, new technologies like uh, HTTP2. HTTP in HTTP2, you don't need to use hack to reduce the HTTP request. And IOJS is an uh, ES6 friendly and performance improved, and you can create workers easily using AWS Lambda. OK, thank you. And one more thing. <laughs> and uh, actually, I am an organizer of NodeFest. And uh, I have an advertisement for these nodes. Yeah. Uh, NodeFest 2015, uh, 2015 is open. The site is open. And if you are comfortable with 7th November, please come in Japan. And uh, we will show you some. I would like to show you the NodeFest. Oops. <laughs> yeah, here is another first, uh, another first site. You can paint this rhino. <laughs> and this rhino is synchronized to other browsers, and so you can, yeah. <laughs> And so, oops. Oops. <laughs> Wi-Fi is so slowly. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the guest speaker is a lot of guests. We have lots of guest speakers. So if you are comfortable in on 7th November, yeah, these are Dominic Nericola and Kat Marcha and Rodberg and Daniel Show as I will invite uh, those members. And if you are comfortable on uh, 7th November, please come in Japan. And, uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>